Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to my weekly tips. I know this video is coming out on Wednesday. Normally it comes out on the Tuesday. We've got four cracking games between our top eight sides for the NRL in 2021. I did a pretty good job. I'll do some more separate videos regarding this, but I did a pretty good job for the most part of guessing the top eight. Fantastic top four clash starting us off on Friday night between the Melbourne Storm and the Manly Seagull. Before this video starts, go and check out our sponsor, drom.com.au. Make sure you use code ENT15 so that you do get a discount to your drum coming into summer shortly. Um, nice spring time to grab yourself a hat. Um, I'm currently wearing a drum shirt and also follow drum clothing over on Instagram. There will be another giveaway probably around the prelims. Let's get straight into this. We've got a cracking game between the Melbourne Storm and the Manly Seagulls. Now, Melbourne won pretty well against the Sharks, considering... Uh, they had a lot of players out in their team. I had them winning by more points, but I thought it was a pretty good performance. Really good line break from Harry Grant. Pass to Pappenhausen. Really nice combination being built there with those two. Is Pappenhausen back? Well, he's up against Tom Trevojevic, the best player in the game, the best player of the season, uh, the probable Dally M winner. He has been on fire. Just breaking down these sides, George Jennings is back for the Storm up against Jason Saab. Uh, Lumi Lumi is on the wing for the injured Josh Adokar with Cameron Munster returning for the Melbourne Storm. I still question whether he'll play. Um, he's carrying that injury, so it'll be really interesting to see this. Dale Finucan at lock with Harry Grant from the bench. Nelson Asopa Solomona and Nico Hines gets a spot in the 17, which is really, really good to see. Nico potentially could play in the number six jersey, I think, if Munster is ruled out. Uh, Curtis Sirinan has been named. Is he on the reserves? He's on the reserves. Um, and Josh Alloyer has been named to start. He returns for the Sea Eagle. The Sea Eagle, really, really good try scored. If you go, if you missed it, go check it out. At the end of last week's game against the Cowboys, they looked... Uh, Pretty flat to start the game, but there is this period, and they did it again, where they just scored plenty of points, and they had a convincing win over the Cowboys, who dreadful defense, but Tom Trevojevic, man, I tell you. And Ruben Garrick. Ruben Garrick deserves so much credit. He's been breaking records, most points scored in a season, so a lot of credit there. As for Melbourne, they were 19 straight wins, beaten by Parramatta, got back on the winning board under strength against the Sharks, claiming that minor premiership. Who's my tip here? Well, it's going to be a really interesting game. Um, I'm just trying to see the stadium. Is it at Suncorp? No, this game is at the Sunshine Coast Stadium. Uh, Manly are in some great form. They finished the season in fourth. Melbourne with their 19 wins in first. They've been playing a bit on and off lately, and I think the rub of the green, the calls will go Melbourne's way, and that's why they probably should win this game. It's a qualifying final. It's not a do or die. One of these teams will get a second chance. And you know what, guys? I'm actually going to go for a bit of an upset here. I know that I tipped the Sea Eagles a few weeks ago against the Melbourne Storm. But I just think that um, Melbourne have been playing flat. They have been playing good and they have found a way to win games. But at the same time, something's been off about them. And I think if Manly turn up and put in their best, and from what I've seen of Tom lately and his performances as well, that the Sea Eagles are able to beat the Storm. I don't think they will blow them out of the water. Love them at the price of $3.10. So I'm taking the Sea Eagles to beat the Storm by eight points on Friday. No, let's go Let's go two points. This is going to be a tight game. And you know what? It's going to come down to Ruben Garrick's goal kicking. I trust the goal kicking of Garrick to get Manly over the line. I love Tom Trevojevic to score a try at any time. I think the Storm might score the first try of the match. So I'm going to go with Remus Smith to score the first try against Brad Parker and then Tom Trevojevic at any time. But the Sea Eagles to qualify into a prelim. Even though I think the Storm, they're all the calls going to go their way. Manly's going to fight hard enough and they're going to win this game. Second game sees the Sydney Roosters up against the Gold Coast Titans. This game is at 5.40 at Queensland Country Bank Stadium. So up there in Townsville, Roosters, the home side. Uh, the Titans, 
They have made the top eight. I predicted them to finish in, it was seventh or eighth. I believe it was eighth position. I had the Knights in, in seventh. The Roosters, they have finished in fifth position. Really good season with all their injury. They managed to stay inside the top eight all season. They have won a lot of games as well. Um, when they come against the bigger sides, I guess they've been beaten. Um, but I still think it's been a really good season. And then as for the Titans, things have gone their way. Um, the Sharks lost to the Storm. And then the other game was the Raiders losing to the Roosters, which secured the Titan. Love what I'm seeing from young Jaden Campbell. Uh, David Fafita off the bench has been pretty good. But I think he should be in that starting side. And I'd be putting Bo Furmore on the bench. I think Bo Furmore is a, a player with a lot to offer. Really like what I'm seeing. Um, Aaron Clark brings a lot when he comes on in the 14 jersey as well. Um, it's a really good team. It is a great team to match up against these Roosters. Whether they contain, can contain them, I'm just not sure. Um, let's have a look at the Sydney Roosters. They get Jared Roria Hargraves back, and they get Victor Radley back for this game. Dale Copley is named on the reserves. Isaac Liu and Sam Walker on the bench. So it is going to be lock on Liam at halfback for this game, which makes it interesting. Sam Walker, I don't think he had... Yeah, he was on the field, but he didn't get much game time um, in last week's game. I'm just going to say, I've been a bit critical of him this year, but I want to give a rap to Drew Hutchinson. Drew Hutchinson has been filling in that 5'8 role for Luke Keary. It, coming up to finals at those important times, playing some really good performances. And it gives me a bit of confidence for the Roosters. So, look, I reckon the Titans here, one of my best bets for the week, I reckon the Titans can cover the line. The line is set at 11.5. I think this will be a close finals game. They'll be stoked to get back in finals, just like Newcastle last year. But unfortunately for the Roosters, I think they will bow out in week one of the finals. So I'm going to go with the Sydney Roosters to win this just because they've got um, plenty of experience. They get the, the big players back. I'm going to go with Daniel Tupo. He's been pretty quiet for most of the season. So I'm going to take Daniel Tupo to score the first try. I like the Titans to cover the line. And I'm going to take Angus Crichton to score a try at any time. And I think there's a bit of value maybe. I'll talk about this later. But I don't mind him to score a double. I think this game will be pretty low scoring. I don't think I had a score for that Storm and Manly game as well, guys. So I'm going to go 24 to 22. And for this game here, I think there'll be plenty of points in it. I'm going to go the Roosters by 8 points. And we're going to go a score line of... Look, I think there'll be plenty of points here. I'm going to go with uh, 26 points to 18 in favour of the Roosters over the Titans there. Unfortunately for the Titans, it's a one-game finals appearance in my header in Country Bank Stadium. The Cowboys, home in Townsville, gets a cracking game. This was a prelim last year. It is the South Sydney Rabbitohs facing the home team, finishing in second position, the Penrith Panthers. Really impressive season, and Penrith are peaking at the right time. I think I personally have Manly as my favourites based on what I've seen to win the grand final. Just because of their forward pack, Tom Trevojevic at the back, the experience of Kieran and Foran, there's just so much to like about Manly. But if there's someone who's going to compete against them, it's these Panthers. They're peaking, they've got Cleary, uh, they've got Fisher-Harris, Tavita Pangai Jr. is a huge injection for this side. Let's have a look at the lineup for the Panthers. Scott Sorensen is out with a season-ending injury, and Tyrone May is out of the side. What this means is that Mitch Kenny returns for the Panthers in the 14 jersey. Uh, Brent Naden has been named in the reserves. Charlie Staines also named in the reserves. Stephen Crichton moves to the wing with Paul Momorowski and Matt Burton making up the centres for the Panthers. As for the Rabbitohs, Blake Taff has been named as the fullback for the Rabbitohs, a replacement of Latrell Mitchell. Rabbitohs getting the win uh, unconvincingly over the Dragons. I had them winning by six. They ended up winning by four. Um, they get all their big guns back for finals. Adam Reynolds, Alex Johnston, Cameron Murray, Cody Walker, Damian Cook, Keon Kolomatangi, Dane Gagai, and Thomas Burgess for this one. Uh, Tan Milne is out for this game. By the looks of it, Tan Milne is out. He's had some really good performances this year, but he's been left out of the side for this one. I probably would have had him over Jackson Paulo, but we'll wait and see how he goes. This is a huge game for both of these sides. And look, in my head, I have Penrith winning this game 13+. plus. They've put plenty of points on South when they've met the last couple of times this year, but... I think the Bunnies will be up for this. I think Penrith will win, but I've got the Rabbitohs, the finals intensity. They've got this team that 
are motivated to want to win. Just worried about the depth of the Bunnies without Latrell. Blake Taft's a great player, but not really finals experience, and it's a very different ball game. So, look, I'm going to take the Panthers to win 1-12. to I'm going to go the Penrith Panthers to win by 10 points. I think the Panthers will win uh, 26 points to 16. Let's go with let's go with Viliami Kikau to score the first try of the match against the Bunnies. And let's pick an anytime try scorer. And it's going to be Dane Gagai for the South Sydney Rabbitohs. So kick out a score first and Gagai to score at any time. I like the Penrith Panthers by 10. Um, and this is also a qualifying game. So if the Rabbitohs do win, they're straight through to another prelim. They're no stranger to the prelim, but I think Penrith will get them in the end. On Sunday afternoon, we head to Rockhampton for the Mighty Eel up against the Knights in an elimination final. Now, we've been in an elimination final uh, just two years ago against the Brisbane Broncos where we won at Bankwest 58 points to nil. As for the Knights, Tex Hoy is out for this one. Stafford Toa and Chris Randall are out. They get plenty of their big guns in defence back. Uh, Tyson Frizzell, Mitch Barnett, Jaden Braley, Jacob Saifidi and Daniel Saifidi are all back for this game. Um, as for Parramatta, I, I don't like the side. Now, I love my boys, and I think there are some great inclusions. Will Penasini at centre for Tom Opacek. Um, they have Ray Stone at hooker. I think it's a great choice with Joey Lussick obviously being injured at the moment. Will Smith off the bench provides a lot for the side, so I'm really glad he's there. Isaiah's on the bench. I don't know what's going on there. Sean Lane is starting. It's a no-no from me. And the worst one of all, Ryan Madison has been named in Jersey 18 on the reserve. If Ryan Madison is named in the reserves, I, I think it's a, a big out for our side. I think it's a ridiculous move. Um, I can't believe both Oregon and Ryan are out, but Ryan has had plenty of finals experience. He's a, a grand final winner, for God's sake. So I think it's a terrible move. I think the Knights will compete with us. I had Parramatta winning by 20 last week going into this game. Just based on that lineup, I think we'll be able to get the job done. But I think this game will be closer than people think. And I think there'll be plenty of points in this one. So I am going to take Parramatta to win by 12 points. I'm going to go with Parramatta to win 30 points to 18. I haven't checked the overs, but I'd say it will be around that 44 mark. And I'd be leaning towards the overs. I'll be looking at my best bets in a moment. Um, look, let's go with Wunga Blake from the Eel to score the first try of the match, and we're going to go with Tyson Frizzell from the Newcastle Knights to score a try at any time. So Wunga Blake and Tyson Frizzell, my two try scorers there. The Eels by 12, the Knights back-to-back -back final series and back-to-back -back week one exits. Parramatta play the Rabbits, um, Manly through to a preliminary final, and the Storm to face the Roosters in week two of the final. Let's get into some best bets. Things normally I do it as I go, but let's let's have a look and analyze it here. So I really like the Sea Eagles of the line. Now the line is eight point five, and Melbourne and their week one finals game um, six points or less decided five of their last six finals game. That's paying three dollars twenty six. A bit of value there, but I'm going to take the Sea Eagles of the line of eight point five for that game. I think, as I mentioned, Melbourne will get all the calls go their way. But I think Manly can win. Remus Smith to score the first try of the match for this one. Uh, Remus Smith is... Where's his name? Remus Smith is $15 to score the first try of the match. So really good odds there. And Tom Trevojevic at 11. But I'm going to take Tom Trevojevic to score a try at any time in that one. As for the Manly Seagulls and the Melbourne game. And as I mentioned, I'm going with 24-22, which means 46 points. So I'm going to take the over 44. I think there'll be plenty of points in that one, even though it is a finals game and you should expect unders. Let's have a look at the Roosters and the Titans. I'm going to go with the Titans to cover the line of 11.5 at that $1.90. And we're going to chuck, same game multi, we are going to also chuck uh, Daniel Tupo to score. No, sorry, we're going to tuck Angus Crichton at $3.00. Angus Crichton to score a try at any time. And the Gold Coast Titans to cover the line. That's paying $7. Really good odds there. Angus Crichton has been phenomenal. He scored in... Uh, I'm pretty sure he's scored in his last seven games. So that's outstanding um, for Angus Crichton. So we'll go with that there. 
Let's move on to the Penrith Panthers and the South Sydney Rabbitohs game. Rabbits at $4 odds. I don't think they can win this game, guys. I just don't think. But I think the Penrith Panthers will win. The line is 11.5. I think that line's too big for a big finals match like this. I am going to take Kikau to score first. Again, $15 value there for that one. And then my anytime pick was Dane Gagai. He's at $3.60. Really good value coming back into the side. And I'm going with 42 points. So I don't mind the unders. I think that these sides will play a game that could go into the unders there for that bet. And final game, Parramatta Reels, Newcastle Knights. I think Will Penasini could score a try at any time. But I am going to go with Wonga Blake. I've got a really good feeling about him. So I'm going to go with Wonga Blake to score a try at any time. And what is the line for this game? It is 7.5. Pretty sure Parramatta can cover that. But I'm going to play it safe here. Go around to that pick your own line. I'm going to take the Eels at minus 4.5. I think the Parramatta can win by six or more points. Um, I just don't trust that that huge line there. Just trying to find the minus of uh, Parramatta here. Minus 9.5, minus 4.5. There we go. So minus 4.5 and Wunga Blake to score a try at any time is $3.50. So that's going to be my best bets for the week. I hope you guys really enjoy the NRL Finals Week 1. We move into Week 2 next week. There should be a card break next week as well. There'll be a break on Sunday, which will be two boxes plus a priority. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like and subscribe. Plenty of finals videos coming out over the next couple days, weeks. Hope you guys enjoyed this video.